Seven years ago, Pam Wood joined the staff of South East Surrey Pupil Referral Unit, or PRU, as a teaching assistant. She already had some experience of coaching football, but no one could have envisaged how her love of sport would impact on the PRU's 16 permanently excluded pupils who have emotional, behavioural, medical or psychiatric problems. When I first came here there was no PE provision at all. I think there was about four tennis rackets and about three tennis balls in a drawer, so there was nothing. Pam is now a higher level teaching assistant and PE coordinator, and thanks to her, PE at the PRU has been transformed. Pupils have sport every break time, plus a whole morning and afternoon each week, and it plays a vital role. The main aim of the sports is to get cooperation, to get teamwork skills, which are transferable skills for these students when they go back to school and when they go into jobs eventually. Um, also the concept of losing and being a good loser. The main thing, that the, the main thrust of, of all of the team games is actually how well you play that game with your team members. When she first joined the PRU, Pam assumed her role would be to assist teachers in the classroom. But Gail soon had other ideas. In her role as a TA at previous schools, she'd been assigned to special needs children. Um, she'd done things like paint a mural in the school playground, done lots of making tea for teachers, um, and washing up paint pots, things like that. Um, once Pam started to work here, it seemed to me that it was a huge waste of potential. She showed a particular flair towards sports. She had already coached a football team in the past. And we thought, you know, yes, if she's happy, let's take the sport forward because we certainly needed somebody to be strong on that. Pam turned out to be very strong indeed. Right. Straddle. Okay, right. Tuck. Seat. Key to her achievements was forging links within the community, giving Pru pupils access to amenities such as a swimming pool and indoor sports hall. It was a vast improvement on the Prue's tiny playground. How do you stop? Bend your knees. You go. And what do you do when you bend your knees? What are you doing? Putting, putting, putting a stop in the pressure. That's right. And when you stop, Danny, it's a good posh stop. Okay, <laughs> people, because this trampoline is part of gymnastics. I've, I've had a vision of where I want PE to go, um, and it has involved, it involves all the time. Um, and I just wanted them to learn how to play with each other, how to win and how to lose. Um, and, as I say, team building skills really, because I think they're really important for jobs and careers. The pupils' respect for her and her achievements is obvious. She taught me how to swim last year. Uh, I couldn't swim one length and now I can swim ten. She's just an outstanding person really. She does a lot for the school, a lot for us. As well as gaining access to facilities, Pam secured the funding and the specialist coaches to lay on a wide range of extracurricular activities. <laughs> Pam already had football coaching experience, but to maximise what she could offer to the pupils, she added qualifications in coaching rugby, basketball, volleyball, boccia and swimming, to name just a few. The training opportunities sprang from an ethos within the unit that values and supports professional development. The support given by the senior management and Gail to actually increase our training to improve our knowledge is fantastic and I've never seen it done anywhere else as good as this. It's discussing with each member of staff what areas they would like to develop, what areas they feel confident with, what areas they need to go on courses for and how we can support them. Developing sports leadership skills in the Prue's pupils is another of Pam's responsibilities. The Prue pupils run regular sports sessions at Orchard's Infant School, with both younger and older pupils gaining enormously from the experience. It's enabling one pupil, Vicky, to work towards her sports leader award. Pam has also taken on teaching GCSE PE to Vicky. 
what I think we need to do is to write our evaluation and in that evaluation I think you need to write what we've changed. As a pupil referral unit, we need to make sure that we offer as many accreditations to the students as possible. And so we look for any kind of flair within staff and obviously if they want to do it in the confidence to deliver an accredited subject. PAM delivers PE GCSE um, with confidence. Everybody's got strengths, everybody needs to respect each other's strengths. Um, because basically we're here for the children, we're, we're not here for our, you know, to, to sort of fight our own corner, we're here to work as a, a cohesive team. From this planning, what has worked well and why do you think it's worked well? Running so, machine Okay. swimming. Right. But you need to tell me why now. Because we did the running machine first and right. we were like not puffed out. Okay, so with the running machine, are we going to be able to show an improvement over the next five weeks? Yeah. Are we on track to show the improvement yeah, for the next five weeks? Yeah, because we're doing okay. it first. Like most teaching assistants, Pam wears many hats, but it's through the medium of sport that she truly makes a difference to the lives of the young people she works with. Pam taking on the sporting activity within the school has had a huge impact, a huge positive impact on the school lives of these children. She's a really nice teacher. Yeah, she's really fun. She like, understands you if you need to talk to her about anything and she's like good at football. She, she teaches me loads of stuff. I learn something new every day. Since coming I've learned a lot in sport as well. Uh, and I take it home with me, and now I'm, I'm, I'm playing for a football team now and all sorts. Uh. She's probably the best teacher I've come across. Um, she, she's always there if you need something, um, if you get like in a stressing lesson, she'll be there like that. Pauline Meadows is a personalised learning tutor at the John Warner School in Hoddesdon in Hertfordshire. Just like Pam, she has a wide range of roles and responsibilities. Morning. Shirts, please, ties. You can think about them. Thank you. Unusually, one of the biggest impacts she's had is with pupils she rarely sees, thanks to the way she's helping them get the most from new technology. Casey and Stephanie are both pupils at John Warner School but they were born into a showman family that runs a fairground which travels all over southern England. In the past, it's been difficult for pupils in their situation to combine travelling with a good education. Traditionally, when pupils went off travelling, they would take um, a big bag of work with them, a carrier bag full of work, with the work that the uh, school teachers had given them. And they'd go off with that, and that was it. We didn't see them till the next autumn term when hopefully they'd bring their work back with them. That system was effective for the first two weeks, I'd say. They were enthusiastic, but that enthusiasm did wane after the first couple of weeks. They'd forgotten what to do, or they couldn't understand something, and they'd no way really of getting into contact with the school once they were travelling. Not surprisingly, the lack of communication had an impact on attainment and on pupils' ability to slot in when they returned to school. But over the last few years, Kate and Pauline have been implementing ELAMP, a series of electronic learning and mobility projects. They've provided pupils like Stephanie and Casey with laptops and internet access that have transformed their relationship with school. I like a new challenge and uh, it was something I wanted to get my teeth into. Uh, and also I've had to develop skill, my own skills in using technology. So that is an advantage as well, I think. When we were using postal communication, uh, the length of time between work getting to the pupil and then back to us was obviously much longer than using email. We can have an answer instantly with email. And what's happened is it, it was harder for the kids to keep up, I think, with the work as well, because they didn't have this continual two-way communication, which is the key thing that's happened with having all this technology to use. It works a lot better then, because then I know how I've done on it and what I've got to do next or I keep up with the work in the class instead of sending it back after I've done the whole lot. It's easier to get back in because I've been doing all the work that they've been doing in the class, so I haven't missed out on any. Although the technology is relatively straightforward, implementing new ways of working is not. At John Warner School, Pauline has played a pivotal role over several years in initiating and managing changes that improve the way the school works with travelling pupils. Okay. 
and get head of year Mrs Lansley to uh, email her okay. and chat to her and let her so know what's going on. So if I let on. you know, that, give you their the email, email addresses, addresses yep. then you can pass it on to Sarah. Yep, that'd be okay. great. Yeah. I don't think the project would have worked at all without a personality like Pauline in this school. You need someone um, who's enthusiastic, got the energy that she's got, got the relationship with the pupils and the parents and the staff to really make this project work. Working with Kate Stockdale, Pauline's enthusiasm and commitment have ensured constant evolution of the project. Over the last year, Casey has been one of the principal beneficiaries. When ELAMP 3 was uh, going, which was last year's project, uh, it was me that was keeping up with the pupil and emailing them and making sure they had plenty of work and if there's any problems, either referring to the subject teacher or if I could sort it, I would sort it. But now this year with the ELAMP 4, we've taken it, because each time we want to take it one step further so that we are progressing all the time. And this year we've got Mark and Marianne, two very enthusiastic new young teachers that are very good with uh, technology and they've taken on board Casey and they're directing, they're actually di directly working with her via email. I find the email system really straightforward and it doesn't take up too much time so 15 minutes, half an hour a week I can check what Casey's been sending me, give her immediate feedback and, and marks so she knows that she's doing well, she's on the right track and just make sure that she's keeping up to date. Although the direct involvement of subject teachers is greater than ever before, Pauline still plays a crucial part in liaising between them and families who are on the road. Oh, it's Mrs Meadow from John Warner. Hello. Well, I just thought I'd better give you a ring. I know Casey's off and out and about travelling at the moment with you. About her Year 8 exams, if there's going to be any possibility that you can get her back. Right, I know she'll definitely be able to come in on the Tuesday, but I'm not quite sure about the Wednesday, but I can sort that out with you nearer to the time. Pauline's work is not only vital from the school's perspective, it's appreciated at the fairground too. She's very important because when they're stuck, they can phone her and she can help them straight away or they can email her and she's been very, very helpful. Casey is doing well in Year 8, while Stephanie is now launched on an A-level Business Studies course in a world where continuing in post-16 education is still unusual. She's experienced at first hand the value of Pauline's initiative and commitment. Miss Sarah has helped me loads, especially with my coursework. She's helped with the emailing and keeping in contact and has told me really everything that I've missed and has supported me with finishing the coursework and getting it all finished on time. The, the most important for me, thing for me is to see that that pupil has achieved what they can to the best of their ability, whatever their ability is, it doesn't matter about their ability, but long as they've been given the opportunities and if I've had a part in helping them, then that's fantastic.